Hi, this is Andreas, and in this lecture we will complete the pivot table creating a new measure called sales per transaction. Again, from calculated fields, new calculated field, choose orders for table name, and type in sales per transaction for the calculated field name and the description. Type in equal brackets sum of sales close brackets divided by brackets transactions close brackets from category choose currency with zero decimals and OK. The new columns have added. The next step is to convert sales to currency because we forgot to do it. Go to the bottom right corner and click the down arrow of sum of sales field and select value field settings. Then click on number format and choose dollar with zero decimals. Press OK and OK again. Look how all the sales converted to currency. The final step is to add a timeline and a slicer. Use a timeline to filter by time period. With your timeline in place, you are ready to filter by a time period in one of four time levels, years, quarters, months or days. Slicers provide buttons that you can click to filter pivot table data. In addition to quick filtering, slicers also indicate the current filtering state, which make it easy to understand what exactly is shown in the filter pivot table reports. So let's get started. Go to Analyze tab and click the Insert Timeline button. You want to filter by order date, so check this. OK, move the timeline somewhere there. and change the time period to years. Now it's time for the slicer. Click anywhere inside the pivot table, go again to Analyze tab and click the Insert Slicer button. The filter we are interested in is Country. Move the slicer here. We have to change the columns of the slicer. Go to Slicer Options and change the number of columns to 4 or 5 if you like. Finally, you can format both timeline and slicer, like this. If you have any questions, you can post them in the discussion board. Thank you very much. Bye.